everyone. So today it's going to be a bit of a different video. It's following the classroom projects that we've been having for After Effects and Photoshop. So this one's going to be for After Effects and specifically targeted to my students who are doing their final project right now, uh, due in around three days. So uh, I'm just going to create a small little video helping them through their actual final project. It is based on motion graphics and transitions with a bit of typography. So if you're interested to see how it works, uh, you can just follow these tutorials. I'm going to have one today, tomorrow, and after tomorrow to finish off their final project. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new composition. And I have a specific color here. So it's a 1080, uh, 1920 by 1080 composition. And the first thing I like to do is look at Google for color combinations. And I have a few here. So I have this one and I have this one. So I like to mix it up between colors. So I prefer this one on the right, so I'm going to delete this. And when I get my first color combination from Google as an image with um, a hexadecimal type uh, kind of uh, color combination, I like to actually create a few layers for that specifically. So shape, rectangle, I'm just going to create a few over here. So that's one. So this one's going to be this color specifically. Control copy, control V on the actual layer. Move it down. Fill, it's going to be the next color. Control copy, control V. Fill, get the eyedropper, take the red. Control copy, control V, move it down a bit. I'm gonna take the orange. Control copy, control V, and the last one's gonna be the yellow. Perfect, so I'm gonna grab all these shape layers that I have, right click, pre-compose, and just call it colors. So I can have them always on my screen. And delete this. So first thing I'm going to do is create the entire project is about introducing yourself, who you are, what you do, your hobbies and everything using motion graphics, typography and transitions. So what I'm going to do is create a high first, just a letter high. So the way I'm going to do it is a bit different from what we saw before. I'm not going to use text. I could easily just use text here to say hi, for an example, change the color. and use this for animation, which I don't feel like doing. I want to do something a little bit more interesting. So what I'm going to do is create normal lines. That's my first one. And I would like to have no fill. So alt click on the fill until you get a no bar. And I'm going to have alt click on the stroke so I can have a bit of stroke here. So let me just, perfect. And what I'm going to do is just directly animate this. Let me adjust the pivot point. So by pressing on the Y key on your keyboard or this tool, I can immediately just grab this, put it where I need it to be in the center. There we go. So now I don't need the colors anymore. I'm just going to remove the pre-composition for colors. And I'm going to animate this first. In animation, when you know that you're going to be copying a certain object with animations, just do one object, animate it fully, and then copy it. So here I'm going to add a trim path right here. I'm going to move slightly forwards. Animate the end to zero, move a bit slightly on the timeline and go to 100. That way you have the first animation which is this. It's a little bit too fast for my taste so I'm going to increase the distance between the keyframes a little bit better. So now I can grab this one, Control copy Control v move it slightly to the right. Let's see the animation. Great. Next I would like to grab the same one, Control copy Control v move it to the center, right here. So I got three lines. Great. So what I'm trying to basically build here is the H on in the high. So now that I have that, the middle one, when this is animating, I would like to first of all rotate it and then scale it. So I'm going to grab my R key on my keyboard to rotate this. So as this is forming, 
ends here. Click on the rotation, move slightly forward. I'm going to bend it towards this side a bit, move a little bit more ahead, and then rotate it to 90 degrees. There we go. And as it's rotating from here, so let's see the animation. Great. As it's animating from there, I'm going to also scale it. So scale. Click on this little button right here. So first of all, scale. Create a keyframe. Move slightly here. And I want it to scale down. Not uniformly. I remove the link to scale it only on the x-axis right there. Perfect. So now I have this animation. Good. And now to make everything look smoother, so what I'm going to do is select all of the keyframes, all of the layers, sorry. Press U on your keyboard. One sec, sorry. There we go. Select all these keys and press F9. This is called an easy ease transition. It allows the animation to be a little bit smoother. Great. So now as the H is being completed, I would like to get a small I here and a dot. So we're going to create a new There we go, try to keep it consistent. So make sure that this line over here is straight. The other one. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker in the stroke, just to differentiate between the H and the I. Just like so. I'm also going to grab a new shape, which is going to be a circle, and the lips. Same colors. Drop it there. Uh, I would like it to have a fill but no stroke. There we go. And make sure my pivot point is in the right position. It's going to be right on the bottom. There we go. And I want the fill of this specific layer to be the same color as everything else, which is the eye here. Perfect. I need to scale it up just a tiny bit. There we go. Okay, so now we have our elements. So as this is forming and rotating, as soon as this hits, I would like this layer, the eye, to scale up. So I'm going to put the pivot point all the way to the bottom. Again, this is using the Y tool on your keyboard right here. Scale on this. Remove the link. I'm just going to go to zero. Then as this is completing, I'm going to increase the size to around here. Perfect. And now this little drop, I need to make sure that it's perfectly centered on this. There we go. I'm going to move it up. P for position. Click on the stopwatch for the position and move a bit forward in time. Drop it down. Good. Then move a bit forwards and move it back up. And then slightly down. So it creates a bouncing animation. So let's look at it. Good. What I also want to do is add a little bit more flair to it. By flair, I mean just a bit more expression. So here, as it's about to touch the actual letter, right here on this keyframe, I'm going to click on the scale, remove the link. As soon as it touches, I'm going to drop it down. Moving back up, I'm going to go back to 174. Perfect. Giving you that little extra bounciness. Grab the keyframes, press F9, and I'm done with my intro. So what we can add here is a little bit more uh, flare around it animation wise like some lines squiggly lines or something. So let's do that I'm gonna create an ellipse I do not want any fill so alt click on the fill until it gives you a bar. I do want a stroke though Great 
great. And what I'm going to do with this shape layer is go all the way down to the stroke in the panel, go down to dashes, and add a few dashes here. Play around with the settings as you please. Let me see the scale. Good. Actually, instead of that, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, first of all, I need to move a little bit of the layers. I need them to be a bit more centered. Okay, and where's the sphere? The sphere, I need to fix up a little bit of the positions since we moved it. Let me just redo the animation real quick. Scale as well, I need to remove it. There we go. All right. So the eye is almost done. Position here. Drop it down. Back up and back down slightly. There we go. It's dropping very fast. I need to slow it down a little bit by moving these keyframes a bit forwards. There we go. And add the scale that we talked about, which is around here. So scale just slightly before it. There we go. Move forwards, scale it down, move forwards, 174, same as the X and Y, and then it goes back down. Perfect. So what I'm going to do first is grab all of these actual keys and pre-compose them. So right click, pre-compose, and say this is going to be high animation. There we go. Just to keep everything kind of clean and you're able to see everything you're looking for. So let's look at the animation fully. Perfect. So we stopped here. During this entire process, I would like something to happen, which is I would like to animate a line. It's a little bit too thick. So let me just reduce. There we go. So here I'm going to grab my pivot point tool, place it right here. Good. Animate this. So open it up, add a trim path. <coughs> and what I'm going to do for the trim path is a, let's check the end. It goes from here. Okay, perfect. So end, zero, move slightly forwards. Perfect. Then press on the start, move slightly forward, same dimensions, and just click on that one on 100. So that you get this little line happening. So we have this line, perfect. What I'm going to do is grab it, take the pivot point all the way to the center of high, control copy, control V. This is going to be a small animation with a lot of layers, so just watch out. So I'm going to go 90 degrees first, control copy, control V, another 90. So 180. So this has to move a little bit slightly to the side. Try to keep it consistent as much as possible. 
this one needs to be a bit more centered. There we go, control copy, control V, rotate. Align perfectly, good. Needs to be a little bit higher, it seems. Great, we grab all of them. Control copy, control V, rotate. Somewhere here. Let's fix up this one. It's going to be a bit annoying to grab. There we go. Grab this one. Same thing slightly to the right. And up. Great. So now we get this style of animation and we're done here so I'm going to grab all of these pre-compose high uh, line effect keep everything organized and structured and name everything so now we're going to do a small transition to another Subject. So transitions, how do they work, guys? We have to think about transitions as an actual thing that comes on the screen that gives you another distraction for uh, more information. So I'm done with the high. I'm going to add a transition to move to something else, another idea. So I'm going to write my name is Alex Thomas, so I'm going to jump to something else. I can't keep it like this. I'd rather do a transition. It's a lot easier for me. So what I'm going to do is bring back the colors. Good, so I'm going to start with this color first. So what I'm going to do here is grab a pen tool. Transition can be in many, many forms. It doesn't have to be specific. You can do circles, can do rectangles, can do whatever you want here. So no stroke on this shape. And fill, I would like it to be the same exact color as the high. So I can find it. There we go. So this is going to be outside. So high, perfect, it's done. This is going to come in. So P for position, click on the stopwatch, move forward in time, and completely engulf the entire screen. Perfect. Let's see how fast that is. Too fast, so let's move it slightly forwards. Fantastic. A little bit faster. There we go. So copy this. So I'm over here. Control copy, control V. This one's going to have the color of. So we went from bright, let's go orange. And I'm going to finish off on this color. Say OK. Control copy, control V. Copy Control V. There we go. Grab all of these, press U on your keyboard to open up all of the keys. Press F9 on all of these keys. And what I'm going to do now is this is the first one. So this one's going to go slightly to the right, even more, even more, creating this kind of a stairs effect. So that way, each one will start animating as the other one exits. And we end on this one. So let's remove the colors. This is the animation we have so far. Perfect. Transition done. Completed. Smooth. So now I'm going to select all of these. So make sure here, for an example, this is where the animation starts. So Alt, 
left bracket, called it the end, alt right bracket. So here, grab all of these, pre-compose, transition, one. Alt, left bracket, move forwards in time, stop it right here, alt right bracket. So now all of these are done here. Perfect. So this is my line transition. I can actually even organize this even more. So Alt right bracket. And it ends right here. So Alt right bracket. Perfect. And ends here. Now if I move forward, it's going to go back to the background, if you notice. So what I have to do here, this is the color we ended on. This is the color of the composition. It's not very good. So what we have to do here is create a new solid with this color. It's going to be placed right here. So Alt, left bracket, and we can continue on from here. That way it hides the background. And that's the point. Stop. Perfect. So here I'm going to type in my name. Let's create a normal animation with text now. My name. Thomas. Place it in the middle so everything is aligned. Align tool on the right. Click in the middle. Click in the middle. Perfect. Now it's centered. So let's see what kind of animation we can put on this. Uh, let's do a typography animation, uh, sorry, a typewriter animation. So we go into effects and presets. Wait for it to load. There we go. Typewriter. Just add that to it. And it automatically animates it on its own. So that's great. Alt right bracket. Let's see what kind of animation we can add to this. Animate. Uh, what if we put it into 3D? Can I animate something extra? Not really. Let's see character offset. No. I want to try to trim path this, but I don't think I can. All right, well, we can do this. There we go. Uh, I would like to add some effects, maybe. So what I'm going to do is just create, mm, actually no, I think we're just going to stop here and continue for tomorrow to finish up the entire animation, this should be okay. And there you have it, so please follow along because tomorrow I'm going to be continuing on this exact project and helping my students finish up their projects for their final grade. So thank you for joining me and if you like the content please like, subscribe and comment if you have any more questions. See you guys tomorrow, bye.